Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to connect the programmer to the Diddy. When you take the back cover off with a few screws and you flip the Diddy upside down, you will notice that there is like a jack right here. When you purchase the microchip Picket 3, you should also get this connector and this cable. So you simply have to plug this in and if you do put it in backwards because they could be it does go in either way when you use the programmer it will say device not detected and all you have to do is to flip it upside down and then you plug this into the Diddy the micro USB you plug here and of course you plug this into your computer and then the lights will light up when you plug it in and when you install the software they turn green and you're ready to go there's a video that shows you how to install the software okay in this video I'm going to show you how to install the software so that you can program your uh, Diddy so the first thing you need to do is to go into Google or whatever and use microchip.com as the address here it comes and you're gonna want to go to this section on the right called development tools you click there then you're gonna go on the left here to the section called MP lab XIDE and click here and then you're going to click on here to download the software and you'll download the software after you uh, download it and install it you will see in your applications folder uh, micro uh, microchip and you'll see that it installed a bunch of stuff what you really want is just the click on this the uh, MP lab IPE you don't need the other ones it's much too complicated we're just doing a simple install of the programming so you click there and the program uh, opens up there it is and what you need to do is to the first thing you have to do is to show the device what processor you're using so type in this number and as you start typing in the number you'll be able it comes into family so it's a PIC 24 HDA 256 GP 210A then you have to connect your um, your little programmer and um, once you plug it into the USB it shows up there but now you have to connect it and when you connect it you should also have the Diddy connected to it uh, there's another little video section that shows you how to connect to the Diddy and the computer so here it shows that it downloaded the, uh, the application and also that it, it detected the Diddy so the only thing left to do is that you have to download the hex file that's the new program and you put it on your desktop so I'm gonna browse I'm gonna to go to my desktop and there's a the little hex file I put it in and all you have to do it's successful is to just hit program when you hit program um, it makes that screen it says here that it's gonna tell you the start and end address and you just have to wait I don't know 15 20 seconds and then you'll get a verification that it downloaded successfully and that's pretty much the whole thing make sure that you reinitialize the instrument because of the new features uh, changes things and um, there you go and then you're ready to go